Broken sword, we got two of them. The pure blood demon soul gives us the blue blood sword. A white iron straight sword, born from the soul of the Straya. The, soul, the sword of true nobility, endowed with the essential power that humans are born with, which increases its attack power. 18, 18, 18, 18, there we go. So, D scaling in strength, nothing in dex, E in magic and faith. So, anyone who's played DS3, you probably recognize that um, description and what it entails. So, the Blue Blood Sword 100 magic and 100 physical, not bad. It's a straight sword, it's what you know by now from watching this. I'm not gonna fly off the edge, don't worry. So, this bad boy scales with luck. Big time. Because we're a knight, we only have 7 luck, so this is pretty not great for us. I believe it's around 30 luck, it becomes godlike. Um, and you can buff it, unlike a lot of other weapons that have innate magic. Hey, didn't dude. Yep, but anyway. That's that. Okay, time to head back to the valley one more time. From pure white. And we got one more black phantom to shank. Take this. It will be of help to you on your quest. The soul arts shall be lost. A soul is the essence you must never... The power that you now enjoy contradicts the essence of the soul, for it stems from demon magic. Not sure if that was new or not. Hopefully it Have wasn't. Have you visited the Pantheon at the uppermost floor? The Pantheon honors those like yourself, who sought the demon souls. Perhaps one day your soul, too, will be honored in that same fashion. That is the most we can do to give you thanks. To give thanks to the brave and honorable warriors who must fight to reverse our sins. Have you visited the path that okay. is to give yeah. thanks? Yeah. Well, I guess Gwyn isn't um, the creator of the first sin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Anyway. Dark Souls law, am I right? I wonder if there's any um, correlation between these two looking similar, to a degree. Anyway, Friends Ring, a mysterious blue ring given by the Monumental, increases attack power as a phantom. This mysterious ring supports the camaraderie with others. Since its bearer aids warriors in other worlds and is aided by them, this was the wish of the last Monumental. The foe's ring makes a matching set with this one. So to get the foes ring, well, we're going to have to merc some uh, people. Hmm. I'm going to think about this in between. Now, before we vanish off to Valley, let's do this. Oh, yes, to complete the ensemble. Hey, Silver Veldstadt. Dark Silver Armor, Dark Silver Helmet from Vinland. This impressive, um, Pareteel? Pareteel? Design? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that word. Represents the sacred tree of both houses. Its heaviness fucks stamina regen. Yeah, this is different. The Dark Silver is known to be the oldest metal in the land, and is said to exercise malice. 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 Yeah, so heavy as fuck. Yeah, 52. Hmm. We took out that ring. We can just move. Yeah, this stuff really messes with your regen. It's definitely the, on the heavier end. Meanwhile, the Dark Silver Shield. Let's have a look, shall we? So, pretty decent. 16 strength. Um, 20 plus... Sorry, 70 plus 21 um, for attack. Not very useful. You might notice, though. Look at that. 100, 100. So, 
I was intentionally lying, of course. <laughs> ah, no, I forgot the uh, pure... I forgot this shield was a 100% magic block. Which is dumb, because I knew that, so I don't know why I fucking forgot it. But yeah, Dark Silver Shield. The Dark Silver Shield of the Vinland Legacy, known as the oldest of metals. Yeah, protects the user from all types of spells. So, there you go. Increases it by quite a bit. Now we are going to lose out some magic resistance, oh boohoo. We'll, we will live somehow. But yeah, back to my big stonking heavy shield. So now we can get rid of that stuff. And then I'll show off the two weapons and then we can, well, finally head back. So I just took that second sword, broken sword just in case. I'm definitely going to keep that one for later though. That shield's going to be very handy for something. Probably nothing I actually have left to uh, do in a game, yeah. but still. So wow, we really used up a lot of grass as well. Alright. I tossed him. Fuck. Amazing. I was going to show off the war pick and the halberd. God damn it. Why am I taking so long? I want to go to hammers, war pick, and poles. Halberd. You've seen the movesets before, but we got to read them, so, you know. War pick. E and D. So Dex leaning. 2012. Oh, sorry, 1012. What am I saying? War pick. A hammer that specializes in pierce attacks. A pickaxe modified for use in battle. This hammer has a hard beak-like protrusion that pierces even the most hard metal to deal damage. So we read this before in in 5.1. So this is a hammer move set. You're familiar with it by now. You know it well. It's finally back. To kick some tail. Yeah, this makes me appreciate the Dark Souls 1 Halberd move set so much more. This is fine though. Let's just look at the description for one sec. Yep. A standard pole weapon. Its nature is similar to that of an axe, but with high versatility. Pole weapons can mow down many targets in a single blow, but are difficult to handle and require both strength and dexterity to use. Which is why I've got the crossing mid and hammer instead, man. Alright, well, I will see you back at Valley, because we've got to go meet Celine. Now it's pure white. The real Celine. One we don't have to murder. And we've got to meet one more Black Phantom. Wrong way. See you back at the island, friends. And the perimeter is clear. Just waiting for one of those fucking mosquitoes to come and annoy our little chat. So, hi. Celine. I guess you're like... Quilana, because you're kind of just sitting in the middle of a fucking swamp. You're not going to teach us fire magic, though. Why? You are one of the sane ones, are you not? I am Selen of the West. I seek my brother, Gal Vinland, the knight who accompanied Saint Astria on her travels. I believe they settled here. If you happen to see my younger brother, please tell me. I must share with him the last words of our father. Sorry, Selen. Oh, how, how foolish I you. heard an unflattering rumor about Saint Astria. Have you met that herb peddling woman? She claims that Saint Astria is herself a demon. That woman has no reason to lie. Surely she must be mistaken. I find something odd about this place. It brims with grime, but at once feels strangely pure. I think that should be it. I find some it Yeah. Right, well let's go. Rightio, so that's sorted. So now we have to head back to the boss room. So now we're done with our little conversation with Selen. Not Celine. Fucking idiot. We're in the war. We're fucking falling. <laughs> nice job, idiots. Ah, he is so stupid. And now back to the wall. Yeah, there they are, fucking mosquitoes. Right, so it's a good thing I killed the big ones, because they would have followed me, most likely, and maybe killed said herbert peddling merchant. Also, no. Never again. I've got no reason to. Right, so... 
kind of meant to talk about this a little more than not at all. Um, but yeah, uh, as she pointed out, with um, a, well, with this place, strangely pure. Strangely pure. I meant to dis I meant to well, discuss what I'm saying. Briefly mention the fact of like, yeah, so Australia was relatively cool. Um, and what, in, from my understanding, what ended up happening was she willingly took upon the demon soul to improve everyone's quality of life in the valley. That's my understanding of it. Could be wrong. I mean, there's also the thing of like, well, as we found out from the Talisman of Beasts, the Old One and God are kind of the same thing. Yeah, so Freak kind of, you know, touched on the um, Eldritch Truth discovered at, um, not Bergenworth. But, yeah, so that's the thing. It's up to your own interpretation. I'm oh, sorry. These guys kind of distracting me with my English. Ah, oh, fucking come on. I'm not even annoyed. I, like, I'm not even annoyed or worried. It's just like, dudes, come on, please. I want to make this quick for the people at home watching this. So, yeah, it's, it's up to you, like, if your interpretation of this... Was Australia good? Is she still, you know, post, post mortem? That's kind of the wrong way to phrase it. But even though she did, like, was she doing the right thing? Uh, yeah, it didn't seem to be particularly for selfish reasons. So I think we can assume she was doing it for the right reasons. It's just what she believed would be correct to do. But who knows? Not me, that's why I'm saying it like this. I don't fucking know. I don't pay me enough to consider about this stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely don't get paid enough to consider this shit. Yeah, because I'm doing this for free. <laughs> it's not a slight at anyone watching this. I'm choosing to. I could have started up a fucking Patreon or whatever the hell already, but I chose not to. Subscribe Star or whatever people are now using. And uh, no, apparently Patreon's kind of going to shit. Sad to hear. Pure? Fuck you. <laughs> oh. So, as you can see, Gaul is back. Pure black. So he's the one weird exception where he will appear in um, this tendency. So if I want, I could just fucking go for it. And jump. But, you know, we'll meet him there and not be dumb. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, I guess we're getting that item. I guess we're not getting that item. I guess we're catching the plague. I guess we're picking up this. And we're going to do our best to walk through this. Onto solid land. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. Oh boy, that wasn't fun. <laughs> that was not a good feeling. No, wrong spell. Okay, so I guess we're fighting Gal Mano a Mano now. He's still repping. They really don't want me getting that, do they? They really don't want me getting it. Oh fuck, I guess I'm gonna Yeah, okay, sorry. Sorry. Guess we're reloading. It's not worth it. Cause then I'll just have to fucking get to my soul somehow. Hey patches. He should not be selling anything new. Oh that's right. Fuck, we're gonna go all the way back. Well We didn't get to read this. Once a sick saint, Australia, lived within lived with foes awaiting death in the Valley of Defilement. She pledged herself to a demon soul rather than a cruel god to ease the pain of the people there. So there you go. Doing the right thing, I suppose. Now, um, I've also realized I'm now teleporting behind Gal. I'm hoping he doesn't know I'm behind him immediately, because I need to get to land to fight him. 
Oh boy, this was clever. Start in the plague swamp. Oh fuck. I'm waiting for Gala to like run up to me and just fucking slam me. This big ass hammer. Which we will get from from killing him. Hey Gal, what's up man? Yeah? Interesting. I heard I see. But have you heard the word of the god? So this is how that boss fight could have gone. Ah, beautiful. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. So he's a he's he's a big boy. So one interesting thing is that for whatever reason, while he holds his shield up, uh, yeah, you can't poison him. Might have been an idea to bring that chip, but. I did not. So, oh no. Yeah, so he's trying to parry us. Black Phantom Gull's a cheeky shit. Now oh, come on, go this way. Let's 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 give the people a fight. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a little sad with the Australia fight. We didn't like. Whoa, wow, we fucking flew. We didn't get to like see a cast wrath of gods and whatever. Or gods wrath, because I've never even seen that animation. Because I've always had to deal with Gal first. Alright Gal, that all you got? That's all you got. Rest in peace. Spin a bash. I'm using that line too much. Chris Vinland and the Brum. Well. Good thing I had to warp. Because now we got to fucking walk through all these shitlords again. Alright, let's get out to somewhere a little better so I can show off the Brand. The Crest of Vinland... That was weird. Voice crack. Crest of Vinland, I think we can look at while we have a wander. Okay, now it's consumable. Of some descript. The Crest of Vinland. A small, intricately... Intric intricately decorated crest. The design represents Vinland. So we get a bit of a choice when we meet up with Selene. I'm oh, sorry, Selen, Vinland. Barbaric idiot. Duh. Yeah, this thing's fucking heavy, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Um, so you get a choice as to whether or not you're going to give it to her. Um, if you don't say yes immediately, um, you don't get as good of a reward. So we will say yes immediately. I don't care about dialogue that much. I'd rather show what what you get the first time. Fuck you. Meanwhile, the brand. This thing's really cool. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same moveset as my great axe. Just requires a fucking whopping 36 strength. So we can two-hand it totally. There are some shortcomings, though. So really, people were saying this thing's kind of shitty um, because of the swing speed, but, well, it's the same speed as my Great Axe, so, yeah. You'll notice there's a big fucking dent. You know what, maybe it's due, due to, like, how this thing can combo. Maybe there's a problem there. So, let's have a look, because this thing is fucking interesting. As opposed to just interesting. The Brand, a dreadfully enormous coarse iron hammer, one of Vinland's treasure. Traitors, plural. Its distortion is the mark of an old giant killer, and it's inc and it increases its wielder's resistance to plague and poison. Even so, it is difficult to use, even with both hands, if the wielder has normal human strength. So as you can see, 115 and 399. 399. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, it's not actually that weak just this thing is god king levels of strong so the one issue is using a colorless demon soul on this bad boy doesn't bump the strength to my understanding i'm pretty sure i'm correct but i could be wrong the part i know it the, what it does do when you upgrade it is it grants a mul multiplier 
to your plague and uh, poison resistance even more so. So I think it's like 1.1 or 2 right now. And then it'll shoot right up to 1.3. Also, yeah, I want to point out this thing weighs a lot. 36. <laughs> so now you know why Gal wasn't fast rolling, eh? Yeah, so there you go. Big stonking weapon. Alright, I'll see you back at Selim. Time to merc this guy again. No mercy for Stooges. Well, yep, can't parry him. So there's that. Beautiful. So we're almost back. Shaman friend dropped us out. Yeah, I tried the parrying dagger just for laughs. I might try it in 1-4, because that's the only place we got left, after all. So, yeah. Killed every black phantom. Just got Boletaria. I've just, you know, all, all I've got to do is go to the end of the game. And, yeah, shoot the dragon at the sky. And I'll probably just record that and upload it as, like, a little sped up version, I don't know. But regardless, we're almost done. Turn it back to Selen. So yeah, those mosquito fuckers. I don't I don't know why it sounds like I have such contempt for them. They're just really irritating. That's it. They're not actually that bad. They're just really annoying. Like even then you, you saw when I got hit by a grab attack, like nothing happened. Oh yeah, I've also got no ring to look at. Sorry. I'm kind of putting that off, aren't I? This crest. That is a Vinland heirloom meant for my younger brother. So, my brother and Astraea have both strayed from the path of God. The poor souls. Perhaps their hearts were too pure. Mbasa. Oh, traveling warrior. I hesitate to ask, but can you part with that crest? Gaal has strayed from the path of righteousness, but I wish to have the heirloom in honor of our Vinland blood. I shall reward you in kind. Thank you, kind warrior. As Gaal's sister, I express my deepest thanks for your honoring of his name. Please accept this. It was intended for my brother, but now it should belong to you. May the angels gaze favorably upon you. Umbasa. Two rings. May the angels get Umbasa. Right, cool. Let's quickly look at them, because I gotta end this. So, Ring of Sincere Prayer, which we got from Astraea. Increases miracle power and vulnerability time. <laughs> vulnerability time while casting miracles. Said to have once been found by young Sixth Saint Astraea. Sixth Saint Astraea as one of the revelations of God. Meanwhile, devout prayer, an extremely simple white silver ring. Increases miracle memory capacity. So extra achievement slot. Perfect. A symbol of the high status of high status in the church, it is given to only those who are devoted to the pure and eternal service to God. And constant devout prayer. Well, that's it. Nothing else to do. Guess we're finished for now. Catch you later. Well, actually, I'm telling you to come over here. That's wrong. Well, see you later, guys. Oh no! I have been corrupted! Oh. 
This sucks. Bet my tendency changed. Well, can't warp till this is done, so, um, it's here for real this time. <laughs> Gotta figure out who to murder, I suppose. So I can murder Mephistopheles. Hurrah for killing, I guess. Alrighty, catch you later. Oh.